Hello and welcome to another video on the Black Saber TCG. Today, I'll be showing you how to actually play the game and what the rules are like. The Black Saber TCG is a two-player game where two players build their own deck consisting of 30 to 35 cards. These decks are made up out of combat cards and support cards. The main goal of each match is to deck out your opponent by either attacking with your combat cards or making your opponent draw by using card effects. First off, I'd like to take a moment to talk about the two card types and their subtypes. Combat cards are your main tool of attacking. Each combat card comes with a name, a cost, a type, a class, three attribute links, attack and defense stats, and an effect. Take these cards for example. While they both share a similar cost of three, their classes, types, attributes and effects are completely different. Next up are support cards. Much like combat cards, these cards come with a name, an effect, and a type. There are a total of four types of support cards. You've got main support cards, link support cards, destructive support cards, and field support cards. The significant differences between these cards will be presented in another video. The most important part to remember is that link and destructive support cards can always be placed upside down and be activated on either your or your opponent's turn. All combat and support cards are placed in their respective zones in the front and back of your field, with the exception of field support cards. These cards go over here to the left. Now that you're up to speed on each card type, how about we go over the game mechanics? At the beginning of each match, both players draw 5 cards. They also receive free cost tokens, or CT for short. These serve as your main currency. Player 2 will gain one additional cost token on his first turn, and after that both players will gain two tokens at the start of their respective turns. Also, starting from player 2's first turn, both players will draw a card at the start of their turn. The cost displayed of each combat card has to be paid for with cost tokens. The higher the cost, the more powerful the cards usually are. You can place as many combat cards in a given turn as you'd like, as long as you can afford them. Support cards are always played free of cost. Combat cards placed on the field can either be discarded or destroyed. Either way, they are sent to the discarded zone. Whenever one of your combat cards gets destroyed, you need to draw one card. This is not the case when it gets discarded. You can even discard your own combat cards from the field in order to regain one cost token. Alright, let's simulate an active game and see how this information applies in a real match. In this simulation, player 1 has a field consisting of 3 combat cards and 2 support cards. Player 2, however, only has one high level combat card on the field. Player 2 has just ended his turn, so player 1 draws one card and gains 2 CT. Player 1 decides to discard 2 combat cards from the field and gain an additional 2 CT. Now, he plays a combat unit with a cost of 4. He now activates his support cards, raising the attack and defense for his units by 100 for one turn. Player 1 now has all the power he needs to destroy Player 2's defenses. Now that Player 1 has destroyed the opposing combat unit, Player 2 has to draw a card. But because player 1 can now also attack directly, player 2 has to draw an additional card. Now that player 1 has ended his turn, the effect of his support card disappears, and the card goes to the discarded zone. While fighting, your combat units will always attack the opposing unit's defense stat, so keep that in mind while playing. If your attack stat is higher than your opponent's defense stat, you win the battle, and your opponent's units get destroyed. If your attack stat is lower than your opponent's defense stat, your unit will be destroyed and you must draw a card. In a draw, both units remain on the field. Now that we've covered the basic mechanics of battle, let's talk a bit more about the win conditions. This game follows a deck out win condition, meaning that in order to win, your opponent needs to be unable to draw a card at any given time. Drawing your last card does not equal a loss though. Only if you're forced to draw, but are unable to do so, do you lose the game. You may be forced to draw a card at the start of your turn, or by being attacked directly. Having a combat card destroyed 
or by a card effect. While drawing cards, it does lower your overall health. You also gain more opportunities in your hand to counterattack. If, however, at the end of your turn you do happen to hold more than 6 cards, you'll be forced to discard cards until you hold no more than 6 cards in your hand, so be sure to make the most out of every card you have. In short, that's all you need to know to play the Black Saber TCG. In a future video, I'll also cover things like different card types and card effects, so please subscribe if you'd like to see that as well. I might not have been the most active person on my YouTube channel, <laughs> however I do wish to change this in the future. I have been trying my best to stay consistent on my Instagram page, at Studio Genexus. The link will be in the description. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully until next time, peace.